Hello, Leo. Welcome to your weekly intuitive reading. I hope you're doing well. This is a message for sun, moon, or rising. Sorry for the background noise. It is, I have my windows open. It's a busy morning. Sun, moon, or rising in the sign of Leo. These are general messages, so take what resonates for you and leave the rest. We are going to start your reading off with a card from Moonology. Get a flavor for what this message is about. Message for Leo, please. the message for Leo, please. Wow. Okay. Leo, show the world the real you. And guess what this is? The full moon in Aquarius. What do we have coming up on the 19th of August? The full moon in Aquarius, which is packed with powerful energetics, uh, illuminating that which is changing, that which we want to change. Show the world the real you. And sometimes we want to. Sometimes we don't know all of the real us. We have multiple parts that are working within us, multiple archetypes, multiple personalities. Show them all. Don't hold back. Of course, be discerning. We don't want to harm or put any harmful energy out there. I don't feel that coming from Leo. Uh, full moon in Aquarius. Wow. Okay. It is time to break out of uh, a shell that you may have been in, whether it has to do with imposter syndrome is coming up very strong. Three of Swords, or just really being, you know, you, you try to continue to go on your path and constantly getting shut down. There's pain here. The pain body, I'm, I'm hearing, has been operating. It, it, it is within the subconscious. It's within the mind. This is lim limiting beliefs about yourself. You're uh, making yourself small. For Leo, that's interesting. I think there's a fear of the true Leo energy that um, maybe you've shown it in the past and you've been hurt. Uh, or taught that it is wrong, it is not right, it is harmful. King of Swords, Nine of Pentacles, Ace of Wands. Death card in reverse overall. So you're still going through this transformation at this time. And it does take time. So you may still be in the cocoon phase, so to speak. But it is time to um, put an end to a way of thinking, a way of being uh, with yourself. And it does require us to go deep into our inner psyche, um, feel all our feelings, realize, realize this is new insight, seeing from a bird's eye view of the big picture, realize how we have been hurt in order to make us small, 
don't let that hold you back. Nine of Pentacles. Don't let that hold you back from your dreams, your hopes, your wishes, that which you value, which is important to you. Ace of Wands. There's a new idea, a new inspiration. There's new inspiring energy that is... We're in a lot of fire energy right now. Um, a lot of fiery, fired up energy, but it can be very passionate. There's a new spark that is igniting within you. Show the world the real you. Tell me about the Three of Swords for Leo, please. Uh-huh. This hurt, this pain. You had something taken away from you. Home, family, community, a place of belonging that you actually accomplished or achieved anything. It was ripped away from you. Either by something outside of yourself, most likely. These are lessons. Don't take them personally. Or because of a belief system from the pain body still in operation, the energetically, it went away. Um, take it as it resonates. This could be home. This could be family. This could be a job. This could be, you know, accomplishments. It's, it's anything. Passion projects. Maybe you're an athlete and suddenly your body doesn't work the way it used to. Um, any, it can be anything. These are general messages. So these are just some of the things that are coming up in my mind's eye. Tell me about the King of Swords. Clarity, crown chakra. Yes. Getting a clearer picture, getting a clearer image in the mind of um, where you've been, what's happened, why, what the lesson was for you. And with this bigger picture perspective, it really kind of helps diminish this, that had um, the shadow, that had its grips on you, this pain, betrayal, I'm hearing, heartbreak, being cast aside, cast out, ostracized. It was meant to happen. And you're seeing that. You're you're getting insight. I remember. I know. I know. There's no resonance here from this past experience anymore. No resonance to who you are now. It was because you are going through the transformation that certain people, places, and things had to fall aside for the next phase of your journey, of your life experiences and lessons. Tell me about the Nine of Pentacles, please, for Leo. Mm -hmm. Memories of love. So there could be a lot. Of, this is coming up a lot lately. And I know I've been having this experience. A lot of memories of the past. Your past relationships. As well as past things that you experienced in your past that you love. For me, it's been like concerts and music and friends. But all, as well as all of the various people that I've had in my life. I allowed into my life intimately. And seeing it from a new perspective. Also uh, seeing that some have been in alignment with your values. Others were directing you towards alignment with that which you desire and your values. Sometimes we have to first get to know who we are not and what is not in alignment with us so that we know what is truly. Ace of Wands. Tell me about Ace of Wands for Leo, please. Thank you. Oh. All right. 
So whatever new idea, inspiration, passion that arises within you, go for it. You will triumph. This is part of your journey, material and spiritual prosperity, because once you're in alignment with your soul self, your higher self, with source energy, and you're um, picking up the messages, the downloads, and you're using that as your divine inspiration, it's, it's, it's going to be a success. Overall, we have deception and envy. So, yes, you have been deceived in the past. You may have also deceived yourself. We all have. And this is part of the journey. It's the hide and seek game with our true authentic soul self. We go in and out of that consciousness. Um, so depending on what thoughts you are attaching to and believing, those thoughts, which are just energies, are the lens that you are viewing your life situation through. And that can change multiple times in a day. That can change multiple times in a week, in a year. Um, but getting to the core of, of who you are, we have emotional loss. Grieving for that which has, lo has been lost. Um, but celebrating that which has been found yourself. So show it, show the world, the real you, Leo. That is what I have for you this week. I hope that you found this to be helpful for you. I'm sending you so much love. Take care. Bye.